Now, now I know you're thinking amazing, right? Here's the, the, the astronaut commercial. They've seen it a million times. They're marketing and what's a good place to kind of people. They would say, at least I hope they got the index. Like the bosses over there wouldn't back up any of this stuff anybody's saying over here, right? It's sure we got that cleared out. <laughs> Hopefully the commercial comes in and makes that good. I mean, or the money's good. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. We're just going to renewalize it and run with my numbers. Okay. Terry, you gotta see this. Sure. Saying it. Trust me, after 15 walks, it's a little old. Hey, you're not supposed to see those things. Not for you. Uh, Stop waiting. Start yeah. investing. Okay. E trade. Fire. Right to let everything go. Stocks uh, rebounded today after a volatile start to the year. The Nasdaq closed up more than 1.5%. So, as commodities, what's materials? And the definition of Uber. Joining us now, uh, I'd, I'd head of equity to, because the early assets, intro Eric makes Johnson. Good. Eric, great to see you. Thanks for the. For joining us, I mean, so, looking through your your recent notes, I, 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 I guess you I weren't either. surprised by the early yeah. uh, year pullback in general. Give us your take now. Still expect further pullback from where we are? I do. I think oh, we're sorry. actually going to see a pretty I, material pretty sell off um, over the yeah, next you know, six to seven weeks. China China we're not really right now. It's up, it's down. Um, poison you know, everywhere. It's going to happen. Pineapple the first one is that the matrix, this is really a enough. historic change in monetary the policy uh, that no one has like, ever you know, seen before. The Fed bought the $4 trillion dollars of assets over the last two years. They bought $1.3 trillion of assets over the last year. You know, rates so, have been pinned at, at, at zero. Running and those the materials would be standard model matrix under what their property uh, standards are, the their base long that. index, so the congruency to water hammer. And although the market is aware of it, again, it's a it's it's light joke on Princess Peach. To this magnitude, the market is unaware around Let's how, how equities will actually handle it. We think it'll be pretty negative. The second thing is, is that equity exposure yeah, right I now don't know where that sets up are at historic highs. If you look at equity really allocations here in the U.S., they're at the this. highs. You can look at short interest. That's a percent of the market cap. Uh, that's at multi-year lows. And if you look at margin debt, how much investors are borrowing to buy more stock, it's increased by 80% over the last uh, year and a half to, to two years. But so while we're running we think the, that when the market sells or whatever, off, there will not the be a incremental buyer because they're full and they're impaired. And then quick last two points would just be, uh, that with yields moving higher, yeah. the Tina argument is starting to fade. We think yields globally will continue to move higher. And then finally, we're looking for, we're actually seeing early signs I, that the consumer not has really or been uh, as what you know, incredibly but powerful you have to part be of this economic pipes, rebound, friction, right? is going to start to fade I had to go over the coming MOS months for, for a number there of reasons. And figure so out for all those reasons, what grounds we think the sell off can be somewhat uh, material and it will gain one, steam two, um, two. As, as the momentum um, you know, comes out of the market. And, and so, Eric, what do you make of the bounce over the last That's couple of days? Base. I mean, essentially, the S&P out. got well, to 5% from its this, recent worth highs. Out. Products, what uh, we're making, people involved, mine's around their decks. And they've bounced, bounced pretty aggressively over and the last two sessions. Does we that are here. I mean, you lose confidence morning roll. in, in your call? Cool. Not that enough we're land, book and nook bullshit, craft. It's clearly, it does not. It's clearly a very jittery market. Risk levels at the hedge fund side haven't taken down a fair amount. So you will get some of these, you know, short-term, <laughs> no, uh, short-term saying, bounces. Total, I'm I'm I think one of the things in front of CPI tomorrow is there's a view in the market that the whisper number is very high and that um, this could be a better than feared number. Well, I, think that I love my black hole index. Um, I think you would do any sort of pop in the morning. Yeah, that well, depending a, on uh, what we're doing event. here, she works but about no, five switch. There's going to be volatility. Much it's likely not going to be a, you know, a straight line down. Time um, and really, I think this whole year well, is really going to be a in order to figure uh, out a trader's pick, market. Pickled Burks here, Rick. Table of Reads or whatever you're dealing with. Inward Square.